The aim of Move My Learning is quite simple, it's to enable Melton residents achieve digital, financial and social independence, a natural precursor to increasing the level of sustainable employment. Some of the services I've used have included LearnDirect, which I initially started on the Level 2 ICT course with Zoe Lawton. Through Zoe Lawton I actually met Mark and Charlotte of Remploy, who I'm now also working with. They're all really friendly, they're easy, really easy to get along with. I've, no, I've had a lot of fun and I've gained a lot of new experiences working with them all. I've also noticed a significant improvement in my own confidence and self-awareness and with only a month and a half of being with all, all three of them, I've actually noticed a lot of improvements and results. What makes it different and special about me and my learning is the new initiative way to work alongside partners here at Phoenix House to, su to support people and to make a difference into their lives. Uh, people can fulfil the potential of every life stage with the right support and advice. Um, I think Me and My Learning is a, is a great idea for Melton. Um, it's a one-stop shop for, for skills, employability and learning locally. Um, it is a, it's a great thing to bring all the, the partners and providers to, together under, under one roof. Another job for over a year and that's why I came to this building. There is continuous networking, visibility and the partnership actively engage with each other to ensure they take mutual ownership and accountability for the success of the project. Bringing all the services together um, under one roof um, is a really good idea because um, obviously we all work together in partnership. Um, it's a good idea for us because we get to know um, who's working with who, um, if there's no duplication of work that's being done, um, but also it's, it's really important for the customers because um, they get a better journey through the services. Um, you know, what might take someone weeks and weeks and weeks in a different area um, to get support, here it, it, you know, it could only take them two or three weeks, so that actual journey is decreased by quite a large amount. Me and my learning is a fantastic idea. As any care provider um, will tell you, their ultimate dream is to have um, lots of care providers in the one building or within the one space so that when somebody comes in to see us and we can pinpoint another service that would be of use to them, we can then refer them straight away. We understand that about 90% of people, if they come in to see even ourselves and are referred to, for example, citizens advice or the employ or if they have to go to another building at another time, we ultimately lose them. Therefore, this building is a fantastic idea. How far have you got a pizza? I'm just what to put in this box. Um, there are loads. Yeah. Loads that you can put in there. Remember we had that discussion last week? Mm. No, I'm more thinking of as it's current work or work, work experience. Yeah. I'm thinking, what have I achieved since I've started doing my work experience? Definitely more confidence. Mm. I think Me and My Learning is a really good project because I believe we're reaching the more harder to reach vulnerable people within the community who otherwise might feel too intimidated or not able to come to a building like this and receive the kind of um, training or um, access the services that we're providing. So I believe it's a positive um, thing within the community. Hi, I'm Michelle, and uh, before the Princess Trust, I was looking for a job, but then I joined the Princess Trust through me and my learning, and it's turned my life around, to be fair. I've been like doing a lot of stuff like residential, um, community work, helping out people, doing placement and supporting people. Um, yeah, it's really good, and I hope to progress in life because of this programme and I'd like to thank Laura and Gemma and Danielle. Hi, I'm Laura from the Princess Trust. We've recently got involved with the Me and My Learning Project. 
it's been really valuable for us uh, having all the different organisations under one roof. It means that our young people have got the support in place for them to help them uh, complete our uh, programme and we've currently got 11 young people that um, are coming towards the end of the Princess Trust programme and are making positive steps to gain employment, training or education. I've just finished working with a, an 18 year old man. He's somebody who came to us and he was using cannabis quite heavily and had been doing for a number of years. He stopped his use in about four weeks. Um, when I asked him how he'd managed to do it, he said he'd never actually had anyone working with him before who believed in him. And here at me and my learning, we did. So he's worked alongside myself and some of my colleagues and he's now um, in education and he's doing something that he always dreamed of doing, cannabis use is out of the window. Hi, I'm Ryan and today we've been working on the Mia, uh, Princess Trust on Me and My Learning Programme. Um, today we've been doing interview skills, which is preparing us for tomorrow's mock interviews we have over at Pira. And although they seem to be scary, Gemma, Laura and Daniel have uh, encouraged us and made us feel better that there's nothing to worry about. I'd like to see Me and My Learning continue as a project because I believe it works. The services that are here under this roof are made up of people that actually care about our clients. They want to see people progress. It's an ethos that's been commissioned here and that's something that has been said time and time again. It is an ethos that's been commissioned here but there are people at the end of that ethos and people that are bought into our support and are moving forward with our support. The project needs to continue.